but rather than pitting the sexes against one another, we're going to look at this in a completely different way. And I want to invite you to look at it as a way to take control of the situation and change things where you can change them. Now, in terms of how we're going to deal with this, it's just the facts. Women do face specific challenges in their professional lives. And it's not solely because of gender, but it is because of some specific hurdles. And we are going to segment out. Um, this is not relating to choosing to have children and have a family. It's all the other things that come along with it. And all of those hurdles can be overcome. And that's what I want to focus on with you today. There are five major hurdles that most women um, uh, experience. One is a lack of a female mentor. Most women are mentored by men, and so there's a slight disconnect in terms of style and methodology. Number two, they lack resources and training opportunities to help them become successful, as it has become very male-dominated. Number three, they are socially conditioned to put other people's needs first. The old adage that mom puts herself before the kids and everyone else, it holds true in business too. And oftentimes, women put everybody else's needs before um, that of their own. Number four, they lack a strong professional cir circle and a, an awesome, expansive network. Without these things, you're basically flying solo, and it's it's never a good thing to be the only person in the middle of the ocean <laughs> trying to get things done. And number five, women in general do not value themselves and what they do, at least not quite enough, which is why women are paid less than men. It is, sometimes it is simply a question of um, being willing to ask for more than you are given and fear, you know, fear being called aggressive or the B word. Now, in terms of finding solutions to overcome those hurdles, when you do, it becomes a massive power shift, and it puts you in control of your life and your career and your business and who you are going to be and the impact you can make in the business landscape. So the main fundamental issue that we're going to deal with here today is about the relationships that you build. As I said, you can't be the only person standing in the middle of the ocean. You need relationships. You need to build collaboration and teams and partnerships and allies and advocates. And um, that really becomes your currency in the world. And with that, you need four new tools to go along with it. You need to learn how to identify your power. And your power is really your talents and your gifts, the things that you are specifically good at and focus on those things. That's where your power source is. And your value, how much all of that is truly worth, as well as what do you really value? You know, What do you value? What do you care about? These are intrinsic in setting up re relationships and making you a magnetic leader. The second is to build a strong, supportive network. And we are not talking about a coffee clutch at all. Number three is to um, appropriately learn how to influence and motivate others. When you can motivate a group of people and gain momentum behind your ideas, you're unstoppable. It leads to profound change. And the last is using OPI, which is my favorite acronym, to build your success. And OPI means other people's influence, which help you step over a lot of the hurdles that you've had in the past or any of the roadblocks by using other people's influence um, to move ahead and grow faster. Now, when you resolve these issues, what it really means is you can change your economy. That means how much money you make, <laughs> without a doubt. The faster you grow, the more influence you have, the more your economy grows as well, which would also upgrade your lifestyle to buy that home you want, the vacation you want to go, to go on, or you know, to do a renovation that you've always wanted to do where you live now. But also, it means that you can be an agent of change. That means a catalyst for profound change where you are with the people that you love, that you're working with and amongst and bringing you know, some happiness and fulfillment to those people in whatever way you choose to do that. And fourth, being, being a positive influence on those who are coming behind you so that you're mentoring the next generation um, of, of uh, women leaders and other leaders, it doesn't matter, male or female, into the workforce with some really strong skills. And finally, it's all about being in control, and that is to be in control of your destiny. I want to invite you to learn more about the power tools that I'm calling the Power Tools for Women in a free webinar I'll be giving on August 23rd and also, again, on September 7th. There are two classes. You can sign up for one. There's no need to attend both. But we are going to deal with the issues that 
we were just talking about, about getting control in your life, establishing influence, creating great communication skills. It's really, these are some of the most important things that you can learn. So to register for this class, go to powertools for the number 4 womencom That's powertools, the number 4 womencom and sign up for one of the upcoming classes, Thursday, August 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, or Thursday, September 7th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And I look forward to seeing you there and helping you achieve your goals.